Now, it's always difficult to guess what the uh, Fed will do. I mean, that 50 basis points cut seemed quite out of uh, tune with their previous behavior, and yet they delivered it. So for now, it would appear that 25 basis points per meeting is possible. But don't forget that we still have some uh, inflationary data that is going to come out before the next meeting. We still have PCE inflation coming out at the end of October. So anything can happen. And of course, we have more labor data. And apparently, the Fed is very much tuned onto that. Indeed, it's a really good point. And I wanted to ask you as well, as an extension to this, what do you think this means for the US election? We've spoken a lot today about what all of this means for the US economy, what it means for the Fed. What about the political side of this? Well, I actually think that the um, big point to make is the US election will have then an impact on what happens with the US economy and potentially inflation. And so we can sit here and say many things, but the results of the election will be um, will be relevant. So think about a potential increase in inflation. Obviously, think about concerns on the fiscal health of the country. Um, increase in uh, import duties, uh, depending on the increase um, extent, uh, that will be um, will have a big impact on the economy and potentially on inflation. And let's not even you know add there the geopolitical risk because we are seeing and increase in tensions in the Middle East. So there are so many moving parts right now. Fair point. Fabiana, we're also coming into a really important risk event on Saturday for anyone exposed to Asia markets and Chinese equities. What should we expect to hear from policymakers when it comes to this critical stimulus announcement? And what's your view on the outlook for Chinese equities from here? It's been a roller coaster week so far. What do we need to see from policymakers to ensure that the market momentum continues? Well, then, as you know, we actually have continued to invest in Chinese equities, and we actually continue to tell our clients that we could find some really uh, interesting opportunities in the market. You know, there was a point before the stimulus was announced that um, where expectations were so low, and yet you could find some really healthy companies with some very good shareholder returns at really extremely low valuations. The market obviously has performed extremely well. It's now the best performing market year to date. And I think it has run uh, ahead quite hard. So we actually trimmed a little bit back on China, but we still like it and we still find those idiosyncratic opportunities. The uh, potential um, news from tomorrow from the Ministry of Finance, possibly adding that extra fiscal stimulus that we've all been looking for, um, could help more. But again, the market has already run ahead of itself to some extent. And I think now it's really a matter of seeing whatever the uh, stimulus is, what really the impact is going to be, particularly on consumption, because that is the key pivot for the economy to start growing.